So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a YouTube video out of this tutorial. And it'll be talking about how I made this chat. I'm using a stream elements overlay that I've made and I'm opening it on my phone and it has the chat and it has alerts and it has even the event list over here at the top. How many viewers, how much uh, donations I have, how long I've been streaming and my followers. This is uh, what it looks like on the desktop. So basically what I've done in stream elements is that I've made an overlay, but what I've done for this is that I've made the overlay size, the same size as how it would be displayed on your phone's browser. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S9 and the dimensions for it on the browser are 360 for 620. I've also made one for the S10, which is 420. 420 man by uh, 730. And uh, you know, it, it depends on your phone. So you gotta figure it out. Basically, once you open up the new uh, overlay, it'll look like this in a kind of rectangular fashion and you just input all the widgets that you would need for this. So what I've done is that I've put the chat widget, which is, you know, located in the widgets bar over here, as well as the event feed, the media request alert, and it has the viewership, my following, my sub points, uh, donations that I made in that session and also my stream time. So this is all the information that I would need to stream. Uh, and you just kind of lay it over on each other and you can do it on top of, you know, w whichever way. I think that's kind of like what the benefit of this is, is that you can make it look as however you want to make it look. So if you want the text size to be a certain size, you can change the text size. If you want it to be a certain color, you can change the, certain, the, the different color or whatever. And one note about the color is that the reason why my, my background is black is one, so that I can read the white text a lot easier. And two, having a black background will make my battery life a little bit longer. And if the background is darker, that means the battery uses less power. The other thing is the benefit of having this on an Android phone is that you can connect this to a Bluetooth speaker and then your alerts and whatnot will play from the Bluetooth speaker. So I'll give you an example. If I just click here and then emulate a follow event, then uh, the alert will pop up like this. There you go. And then so I put the alert to like drop down and it'll say the text and the color and it'll stay there for a certain amount of time. It'll also play the audio from my phone. Same thing with uh, subscribers here. Here's an example of my subscriber. Okay, you get the idea. It even has the text to speech on here. My name is Bill. All your alerts are always set in this case. You don't need to like preload it to like, you don't need to download it or anything. It's just pulling everything from this overlay. One of the only bad parts about this is that you can't type into this chat. And the other thing is you can't scroll through what you've had. So if you have a pretty crazy chat, then this is probably not an option, a good option for you. The last thing I think I want to mention is that after you've made this overlay and you want to put this on your phone, all you got to do is go over here and then you click to, uh, you know, launch the editor or launch the overlay. So you, you go over here and you click launch overlay and it'll give you the link, send that link to your phone and open it up in the browser and then you'll be able to have it running. And I save that to the desktop on my phone. So I have a little uh, icon right there that'll automatically launch it. And that's it. If this has helped you at all, or if you guys have any questions, leave a message in the comments below. Also follow me on twitch.tv slash John SF. Um, or jo join my discord, you know, finger hearts. Ha, 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 ha.